Hi everyone, this is your pick a card reading for February 2022. My name is Jillian. So this is a collective energy reading for what you need to know in February 2022. So pile one, pile two, and pile three, we have amethyst, sodalite, and citrine. So you can choose either the pile that you're drawn to or the crystal that you're drawn to. And I will have the timestamps in the description box below. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. You can share it with a friend or save it later. Take a moment, take a deep breath in. And when you feel ready, choosing either the pile that you're drawn to or the crystal that you're drawn to. If you need a little bit more time, you can pause the video here. Otherwise, we're going to get into straight into pile one. Okay, this is your reading. If you chose pile one or if you chose amethyst. Okay, so your first card, pile one, is Isis, the goddess Isis. So what I'm feeling first and foremost is that with Isis coming up as your primary card, pile one, that this is going to be a month where you're going to really need to step up your courage. You're going to really need to step into your power. You're going to have to access that inner fire in order to make your dreams, visions, and goals a reality. So it's really important in the month of February to you, for you to stay focused. And um, if you have a tendency to get caught up in negative thinking or um, other things that bog you down, you know, um, sort of external obligations or different things that can sort of sidetrack you from your focus. What I'm feeling right away is that this month is going to be really important for you to stay focused and to really step into your power. So step up your stepping up your game is going to be the energy, the general energy for you as you move into February, 2022. Okay. So we have broken arrow here. It's feeling to me like in January, there was a lot of heaviness, a lot of darkness, a lot of, a lot of feeling just down and, and heavy and, and lacking that sort of power and direction. And so what I'm feeling for you, that moving into February, 2022, you're going to be stepping out of that energy and embracing the energy of peace. You're going to be moving more into a place of being able to manifest what it is that you desire with this Isis card showing up, as well as this energy of peace. And, and with peace is going to bring you clarity um, for you to be able to step into this power within. Hmm. Okay, and so also with this shift into peace, I'm seeing here that there's going to be some important decisions that you need to make in February 2022. And I'm feeling like it's in relation to your career or in terms of your relationships. There's going to be some big decisions. You're, um, you're seeing things a lot more clearly now with this energy of peace, this kind of place of being able to look at things from a broader perspective. And um, with that piece and with that perspective, you're going to be making some big decisions which are going to allow you to align more with your dreams, your vision, and your goals. And so with this focus and with this clarity and with this peace, you're going to be making some, some big decisions. And I'm feeling like these decisions are relationship, related to relationships in terms of like romantic relationships. Maybe you're stepping into a new relationship. Maybe you're releasing an old relationship. Um, I'm seeing here a big, with this two of wands energy that it could be you know, even something like a proposal of marriage or taking a next step, moving in with a partner. Hmm. But it's important with this decision, what I'm seeing here, what's really important with this decision, pile number one, is that 
you stay aligned with your own purpose, with your own destiny, with your own journey. If the decision that you're making involves someone else, like a partnership, moving in, taking a next step, or even moving into a new career or um, role of work, that it's really important for you to remain who you are, to stay aligned with who you are, to protect yourself in terms of not allowing other people or other people's visions to sway you from your own vision, from your own journey, from your own path. It's for it's very important for as you step into this energy of Isis and begin to really cultivate the groundwork for manifesting your dreams and goals, you have to stay aligned. It's important for you to stay, stay aligned with who you are through this process and not get swayed through this decision. So if if you were, for example, moving in with a partner or taking a next step with a partner and and spending more time with this other person, it's important for you to, you know, maintain that deep connection with yourself and and who you are for you to be able to move forward on your path. And see, yes, with this is goes along with the energy of the the energy of the hangman which is being able to see things from a new perspective. So these sort of old ways of thinking that you're releasing from the month of January, coming into this more peaceful place, you're, you have been able to see things differently, which has, been, which has helped you be able to make this next decision. But it's important for you to maintain yourself with through this whole process. Yes, and see, I'm seeing here as well that um, you have deep soul wisdom with this wisdom card that's coming up. So it's really important for you to listen to the wisdom of your soul and listen to your inner guidance, your intuition, allowing how you feel to really, um, through this decision-making process, whatever this decision is, like I said before, if it's a relationship, a new job, aligning with the wisdom of your soul. And what that means is, really listening to what you need and listening to how you feel through the process of creating what you want. A new perspective here is as well as going to be able to help you listen to the wisdom of your soul, especially through this inner peace that you've, you're going to be cultivating. You're st starting to step into now with this shift from January into February. I'm also seeing with this amethyst energy that you have created some, some healthy boundaries in relationships that maybe that weren't serving you in the past, which is allowing you to step into this power and this peace because maybe you were feeling bogged down by some of those relationships in January. But this protective piece is important in terms of being able to make this decision, honor yourself and see the world in a new way in February, 2022. But I absolutely see that there is, you're living in more alignment with this ice, with this icy and energy to be able to create what you want. And I'm feeling like there's going to be a next step with a relationship or a career. There's a decision being made, but the important message here while you're making this decision is to maintain that energy of peace, maintain that new perspective that you've gained through the month of January and honor who you are and don't get out of alignment with who you are when you make this decision. Make sure you're staying on, you know, on that journey of, of protecting who you are and honoring who you are through the wisdom of your soul. New perspective is really important as you make this decision and maintaining that peaceful place in your mind as you move forward. Okay, that was your reading, pile number one. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, pile number two, this is your reading. So if you chose the soda light, blue crystal, or this pile, this is pile number two. Okay, so we're starting out with the energy, very powerful Archangel, Archangel Michael. 
So what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling right away for you is that you absolutely have created some healthy boundaries in January. You've learned how to protect your energy. You've learned how to say no, maybe more than ever before. And with saying no, you're saying yes to yourself. You've been able to really release a lot of negative ways of thinking, old patterns in your life by creating that time and space for yourself and releasing relationships that weren't serving you any longer or creating healthy boundaries with people in your life who you feel like maybe were taking advantage of your energy or you were just spending too much time with that weren't, you know, filling you up the way that maybe they would have previously. But I definitely feel like some healthy boundaries have come in. I also feel like at the end, moving into this month, that your communication with yourself and with others, so understanding how you feel and communicating with others is going to be a big focal point of this month. Mm -hmm. So it's this, this wisdom card, again, is showing that deep connection with the wisdom of your soul, similar to pile number one, where you're developing a stronger connection with yourself through spiritual practice, through meditation, through whatever you're doing, that you're understand, you're gaining a better understanding of yourself, which is helping you to create these boundaries, helping you to communicate more clearly, and helping you to grow. And I'm feeling into the month of February, it's feeling like these, these boundaries and this healthy relationship that you're developing with yourself in terms of being able to understand what you need and what you want and communicate more clearly with this blue crystal throat chakra, as well as connection to your third eye, being able to listen to your intuitive voice. This is really going to strengthen pile number two for you as we move into February 2022. This connection to your ancestors as well, that might be relevant to you. If you have a deceased loved one who you feel is with you or guides you, if you feel connected to working with earth-based spirituality and connecting with nature, that time in nature is only going to help you deepen that understanding of yourself on your path. And again, creating those healthy boundaries, which are just going to allow you to make better choices for yourself in February, 2022 Make choices that feel more aligned with where you want to be focusing your energy. Your energy doesn't feel so thin as you move into this month because you're creating that time for yourself and saying no when you need to say no. Mm -hmm. You have this beautiful queen of wands. So it's really showing me as well, like similar to pile number one, where you're really stepping into your power this month. It's also, I'm also seeing that through these boundaries that you've created, that you have been able to really spend some time with what it is that you want to be passionate about, where you want to expend your energy. Maybe it's a, a new business project, or maybe it's a creative project, or maybe it's spending time with friends, but whatever fills you up, whatever makes you feel like you're lit up. This um, In February 2022, you're going to be exploring your passions more, your desires, the things that you, know, that you feel like you were born to do. Maybe it's you're learning a new instrument or you're taking some art classes or you're, you're, you're exploring a new avenue of your business or your work. Or, but it's feeling to me like these passion projects are really going to be coming into fruition in February 22. Like you're going to be planting some seeds and really spending time and energy in those areas that light you up. Yes, and so we have this beautiful letting go of the old. So with this, you're releasing. I'm feeling like there's still release happening in February, although there was a lot of release in January. But the releasing those old things, those obligations, those relationships, those people and situations that were bogging down your energy um, you're able to let go of the old this month to, again, create space for these passion projects that really, you know, that you were born to do. That's what your soul reincarnated in this in this life to do. You're getting in touch with those things more through exploration and understanding of yourself. Hmm. 
Yeah, so it just goes along that this reward, this Ace of Pentacles energy, it's showing that there's some great opportunities for you ahead in terms of these passion projects. There might be a few areas you explore and then maybe you try something out and you're like, no, that's not really for me. But it's important this month to explore your passions and, you know, try something new, try a new painting class, try this, try that and see where you want to take it because wherever you you find your passion there's going to be a lot of opportunity ahead and see your it's it's going to fill you up it's showing with this beautiful love card here it's showing how much fulfillment you're going to receive through this process of exploration understanding yourself and also feeling more purposeful in your everyday experience So letting go of the old, old patterns, relationships is going to be really important for you as you move into this month, protecting your energy as you did in January, but continuing to protect your energy. And what I mean by that is, you know, that those healthy boundaries, um, creating space and time for yourself, giving yourself that me time so you can um, get clear on the things that you want to explore on a more you know, purposeful, passionate level because they're going to lead to opportunity and uh, maybe even new relationships. And I'm feeling like there's going to be through these passion projects or experiments or um, different endeavors that you explore in this month, you're going to be meeting some new people. If you're single, this might mean that you meet a potential new partner through this process of exploration. I'm seeing here because with this love card it's showing that you know you're and if not you're going to be connecting more with your soul tribe with you know the people who you really resonate with on a deep soul level there's going to be that relationship um there's a possibility of you meeting you know new friends as, as well as potentially meeting um a new partner this month or somebody who you explore partnership with yeah there's a lot of growth happening here a lot of release and a lot of exploration of yourself, which again, is just going to lead to opportunity in terms of fulfillment as well as within potential new relationships. So that is your reading pile number two. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, pile number three. So if you chose pile number three or the citrine stone, this is natural citrine, this is your reading. Okay. So we have Archangel Haniel here. So it feels to me like Pile number three, January was quite an emotional month for you, that you had a lot of heavy feelings that you were facing, working through, examining, and you learned a lot about yourself through that process. It's feeling to me like that's going to continue into February with this very prominent energy of Archangel Haniel. Um, that emotional support is necessary through this time or at least at the beginning of the month I'm feeling into I'm going to see what the other cards reveal but the message is coming through very strong for you pile number three is don't suppress how you feel don't suppress your emotions don't hold them back don't hold them in allow them to flow it's really important at this time just to honor if you're feeling really happy if you're feeling really sad if you're feeling angry allowing that space for your emotions to come through and that doesn't mean that you have to do it on your own i mean of course reach out to friends and family who you trust who you can be completely yourself with who you know that you can open up to and confide in but it's okay to be vulnerable that's the message that, that i see right away for you pile number three it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to open up it's okay to allow your emotions to flow okay so what i'm seeing here as well with all these heavy emotions there there was some shifts 
toward the end of January in terms of the way that you were looking at your relationship, your job, um, other important aspects of your life, your friendships, your relationship. There's, there was a shift in the way that you were looking at that or looking at that situation and that it's feeling to me and I'm, what I'm seeing here is that February is going to be a time where you choose to move in a new direction. You're moving on. You're moving on from this. Um, there's been a lot of heartache I'm seeing here, a lot of just heaviness and uncomfortable feelings. And it's feeling to me like at the beginning of the month, there's still going to be some of that heaviness, some of that processing, some of that, you know, emotional stagnation that's coming through, that you're allowing to flow through you now. So, and it's okay to sit with those emotions, but it's feeling to me like sort of mid-month, you're going to be moving in a new direction. And what that feels like to me is releasing something that is no longer working for you. So whether that be a job, that be a relationship, um, you know, a, a partnership or a friendship or changing the way you interact with that person or situation. Uh, maybe if you're working for a company, you move within the organization. Maybe if you're working with a client that's not working out, maybe you release that relationship with your client, whatever it may be, I do see you moving in a new direction. And it shows here that you're going to be okay if it feels like overwhelming from a financial point of view. Oh no, how am I going to leave this job? Because how am I going to sustain myself? I'm seeing here that, you know, I mean, of course, don't make any rash decisions overnight, but if it feels like it's really not going to serve you long term and it's not shifting, this new direction is going to give you perspective and space to move into something that is really going to support your life and your growth in a new way. And because we have this King of Pentacles energy, it feels to me like Everything is going to work out. It might feel like overwhelming at the time, but long term, it's, you know, you're going to be okay. It's go there's going to be stability there. You might have to do things a little bit outside of the box, but um, long term, this is going to be a better decision for your overall well being. This new direction, this release, whatever that looks like for you. And it's important for you to really honor how you feel in terms of that new direction that you're moving in. Even if, you know, people don't understand what the new direction is or why you're taking it, um, it's important for you this month, pile number three, to really nurture yourself, take care of yourself and honor how you're feeling through this transition rather than getting into, into your head about, you know, what the future is going to look like. I mean, it's important to consider, of course, the future and what, um, you know, what and map out a plan. I'm not saying don't have a plan, but the staying in this current situation doesn't feel like it's going to serve you long term. If it doesn't feel like it's going to serve you long term, moving in a new direction and nurturing yourself through that is really important at this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that of wands. Mm -hmm. It feels to me like this current situation that's been weighing on you emotionally, um, it's been really, really heavy. Like you've been carrying the weight of this for quite some time. And it's been really intense. It's been really heavy. And it's almost like you're trying to intellectualize it, um, trying to intellectualize you staying in this situation that isn't serving your highest good. And it's hard for us sometimes to see things clearly when we're in a situation, but it's showing that there's going to be a lot of freedom as you step out of it, as you move in that new direction. Freedom mentally, mo emotionally, it's going to give you this sense of liberation that you can you know, that there is, um, the grass is greener, that this idea that, you know, sometimes it's hard for us to see when we're in the thick of a difficult situation, that there is going to be um, brighter days. But what I'm seeing here is for you, pile number three, that um, moving through these heavy emotions, allowing them to flow and allowing yourself to move in a new direction, like I said before, whether that's changing careers, whether that's moving within your organization, if you have a toxic boss or 
Um, whether you're working with a client, you have your own business and a client is really just like taking all of your energy or whatever the situation may be, whatever is contributing to these heavy emotions. Maybe it's an unhealthy partnership. I'm seeing here that, you know, things are, even though they're going to be, you know, difficult as you move through these heavy emotions, if you nurture how you feel this, you will obtain this freedom on the other side of this. And, um, you know, it could be baby steps. It could be, you know, just taking one step at a time to really honor how you feel. But what's going to be really important in February 2022 for you is if you are feeling this heavy stuck energy, that um, moving in a new direction and giving yourself that freedom is going to be able to is going to help you um, step on into the other side of this. Because even when it feels like things are never going to be able to change, um, I guess what's being encouraged here, what I see is being encouraged here is if you nurture how you feel, honor how you feel, that you can come out on the other side of this nine of wands and experience freedom and opportunity if you allow yourself to. So that is your reading pile number three for February, 2022. Thank you all so much for watching your February, 2022 pick a card reading. If your pile for whatever reason didn't resonate with you, choose another pile and see if that one does. Please let me know in the comment section down below what pile you chose, what crystal you chose. If it resonates with you, I always love to hear from you all. And um, again, all the timestamps are down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video soon. Sending you much love and many blessings in February 2022. Mwah.